So a couple weeks ago, this company called Snow Tech Products hit me up and they said, hey Shane, we love Search a Snowboarding Channel. We just came out with a new product and we want you to check it out, test it out and tell us what you think about it. It's called Venom. It's an edge protector that you put around the outside of your board. And I was like, yeah, sure, send it to me. I wanna test it out, see what I think about it. So they sent me this package all the way from the United Kingdom and I just got it in the mail. We're gonna open it up, check out what the Venom edge protector looks like and I've got some fun ideas that I want to try to use to test this thing. There we go, there's one of them. I think they sent two. Oh, we got a pink one. There we go. So they designed this specifically. It has a crush zone, so any impact the edge protector kind of takes on itself and there's a hollowing throughout the uh, product and that kind of allows it to collapse and keeps your edge safe on your board. And so what I was thinking, the best way to test this product is to use it on two of the most expensive boards on the market. First board I've got right behind me is the Gentum Stick Big Fish. That board is handmade in Japan and it runs about $1,000. The second board I want to test is the Jones Ultra Solution Split Board. That board is made with a carbon top sheet and some other carbon components in the core. So it's one of the most high-end premium boards out there and that board runs about $1,400. First test we're gonna do is on the Ultra Solution. So let's get this mounted up on the board and then we're gonna take it out on the sidewalk, do a drop test, just let it drop, hit the sidewalk, and see what happens. All right, so we got it all mounted up. It feels pretty good. It has a really good grip because it is silicone, so it's not like it's gonna slip off or anything. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it. But before we go test it, if you're new here and you're not already subscribed, go and hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of fun videos like testing out new products like this, checking out new board and other gear, and then also throwing up a bunch of fun days that we have here in Aspen, Colorado. All right, so let's get into it. Test one, sidewalk drop. seem pretty good. All right. Let's see how that edge held up. That's a pretty typical drop if you have your board in a board rack and it just falls off on the sidewalk of the pavement. So I think that was a good test to replicate some everyday circumstances. But let's see what it looks like. Nothing, no impact at all. That's pretty rad. All right, so the first test, 100% pass, 100% success. There is not a ding on the board. I wanted to bring it in here and show you. No dings, no dents, nothing. Still just as smooth as it was before we dropped it. Okay, now time for the super fun one. Test two, the hammer test. This is the one I've been waiting for. And we are gonna do it on the Gentum Stick Big Fish. Okay, so we have the Venom Edge Protector mounted up. The one thing that you will notice is that this board is already broken on the tail right there, which is the reason I have it. The customer at the shop had busted the swallow tail portion and they were gonna throw it out, so I got to hold on to it to do fun things like this to the board. But we will be testing it on the part of the board up here that is not damaged at all and not broken. So let's see if we can break this board more or if the Venom Edge Protector will save it from the hammer test. <laughs> oh, that was a good hit. That was probably a little more force than the sidewalk drop. I hit it right about here. Dang, nothing still. Completely straight. Okay, here we go. A little nervous for this one. I'm not gonna hold back any. I'm going full force all the way from the top, boom, to the edge. Let's see how it holds up. 
I'm gonna get on this side. Woo! Ho ho, swing and a miss. Let's see if it held up. <laughs> nothing, again, nothing. I would say the hammer test is a complete pass as well. I put a lot of force with this hammer going into the edge and I think that's a lot more force than you would ever encounter in a board bag, but that kind of just shows how strong this protector is, that it's not gonna get banged up when it gets thrown around in your luggage when you're traveling. And whether it's across the world or from state to state, this thing is gonna save your board. But I do wanna see what the limit of this thing is. I know this might seem like a sacrilege because there's a lot of love that goes into building these boards, but because it is already broken, we might as well see what it's like to hit the edge with a hammer to see the difference if a board will hold up against a hammer by itself without the edge protector. I'm gonna go full blast again, full force on the edge. Go right there. Oh, I'm sorry, Gentum. Sorry, big fish. That was definitely the worst one, but check it out. The whole sidewall kind of smashed, bumped up the edge right there. That is not a pretty board anymore. Sorry I had to do that to you, but it was all in the name of science and product testing. So in conclusion, my analysis of the Venom Edge Protector is two thumbs up. Will I be using this when I travel with my boards? 100% yes. I personally have never had a damaged board traveling, luckily, but I never want it to happen. I love my boards so much and I have so much fun on them. So when I do travel, I will definitely be throwing the Venom on my board. If you wanna pick up your own Venom edge protector, hit the link in the description and it'll bring you right to their website where you can buy it from them so you can help support a small snowboard company. If you use the code SHANE10, that's S-H-A-N-E-1-0, you'll get 10% off on your order. This was a really fun experiment to do. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, throw a like, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any other videos like this in the future. As always, thanks for hanging and watching this video with me, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.